Hi, I'm Tina, the education coach for Bright Path. We are excited to welcome you to our Bright Path family. You are now watching a training video that introduces you to a part of our Bright Path curriculum, Frog Street Pre K. There are four parts to this training video. Part one will introduce you to the Frog Street curriculum and the materials included in this package. Part two will walk you through what a week looks like in Frog Street. Part three will then take you on a daily journey in Frog Street. And part four will conclude the Frog Street program with some useful information, tips, and ideas of how to bring Frog Street into your classroom. So join me on this journey with Frog Street. Part one, introduction to Frog Street and its materials. The dream team of authors who wrote this program consist of four lead authors and 24 contributing authors and musicians, the best of the best in early childhood education. Steve Spangler covers our science program. Becky Bailey includes her conscious discipline routine. Pam Schiller discusses character education and brain boosters. Alma Florada talks about cultural sensitivity. Jean Feldman includes ideas for transitions. Isabel Campoy is one of our early authors. And Pat Edwards includes family connection ideas and activities. Here are the program features of Frog Street. Embraces the joy of learning. Provides comprehensive, integrated instruction in all domains. Balances intentional instruction with child-centered learning. Provides equity of materials and instruction. Offers a strong daily routine that develops key social skills and emotional control. Values individual differences. Empowers children with choices in self-directed activities. Honors the power of a strong teacher-child interaction to develop rich oral language and a robust vocabulary. Provides a systematic and sequential continuum for building skills and concepts. Uses research-based principles of learning as the cornerstone of instruction. What does Frog Street Pre-K mean to Bright Path? Frog Street is the educational foundation of the Bright Path curriculum. The curriculum ensures that all learning domains are being covered in the program. Math, language and literacy, science, technology, social, physical and creative development. Frog Street offers exciting ideas and activities to promote learning and reasons why we do these activities. It provides joyful learning experiences through the use of weekly learning outcomes and goals that we provide for the children through child-centered activities. The activities provided are to be used as a guideline or an idea of what type of activities support that week's learning goals and outcomes. The activities themselves are not must-do activities. Implementation methods are flexible. Comprehensive gives details on preparations, setup, implementation, and outcomes. Used with emergent programming. The combination of merging our Frog Street curriculum with emergent curriculum provides Bright Path with a dynamic, interest-based learning environment for children. The Bright Path curriculum is set up to ensure that we meet or exceed provincial standards and requirements in licensing, ministry, early learning frameworks, and kindergarten expectations. Our curriculum prepares children to be successful in learning and ready for school in our global community. The Frog Street curriculum has a very strong focus on the importance of developing children's social and emotional skills. Frog Street includes a daily greeting circle that helps children feel that they are an important member of their school family, learn to recognize and express their feelings, make connections with their peers, and to make commitments that help them to develop their social and emotional skills. Most importantly, it's fun, hands-on learning. 
children are provided with a variety of activities every day that encourage them to explore their surroundings and the materials in the classroom on their own time and in their own way. Learning should be fun. After all, that's how children learn best. Frog Street provides us with a Welcome to Frog Street Pre-K book, which can be found in your City Hall box. It's a great resource guide and a great place to start learning about Frog Street. So, let's take a quick look at this book now. This book is an excellent resource and offers an overview of the entire program, what you can find and expect from the curriculum, and is designed to help teachers implement instruction with integrity. I personally refer to it about three to four times a year. To start, it gives you a visual list of materials included in each box on page 8 to 21. There are a total of 11 boxes included in your Frog Street package. That's a lot of materials. So let's take a look at what we can have fun with. Inside the City Hall box, where we got our welcome book, you'll find the heart of the program. There are nine themes with four weeks of instruction. Themes one and two are what teachers have done for decades. My school and me and my family and friends. These themes talk about my school, my body, my senses, and then transition to the child's family, friends, and more common community helpers. Theme three is all about giants. Here we introduce math, science, and language arts. Children begin to compare sizes of people and things in their environment. Then it branches out to the wonder of the world around them, the natural world and the world made by people. Of course, we then address the fantasy giants. Theme four, choices. Guides children to make healthy choices about nutrition, exercise, safety, and problem solving. Theme five, stories and rhymes. Let's us dive into nursery rhymes, traditional tales, fairy tales, and ballads. Themes 6, 7, and 8 are heavy science units as children continue to observe the world around them, problem solving, physical science, life science, and earth science. These themes are I build, I create, things that move, and animals. Theme 9, changes helps children transition to their next step in life as they look at all the changes in themselves and in their world. What a great year you and your children will have moving through these nine themes. Remember that themes are provided to help the teacher organize their planning, provide a starting point for ideas when and if needed, and should not be the only topic children are exposed to that month. Frog Street monthly themes provide a foundation for activities that typically represent the interests of the children. However, please make sure that it is not the only topic present in the room. Our rooms need to reflect the interests of the children. Even in Frog Street, you will notice that many of the activities and stories are not always theme-based, but developmentally based. Also included in the City Hall box is the very helpful Adaptations for Younger Learners Teacher's Guide. This book is intended for use with children who need additional support before being introduced to the core program. It can also be used in classrooms with children ages two and a half to three years old. Adaptations for Young Learners follows the same themes with weekly literacy, math, and content area centers written specifically for three-year-olds, children with special needs, or for children that need specific learning adaptations. Each week identifies two read-aloud activities, one weekly math lesson, five practice activities and centers, and only four pages per week. The City Hall box also includes Strategy cards, which support intentional instruction. These are for the teacher's reference. Three resource guides. 
strategies for English language learners, assessment, a portfolio approach, family connections. Resource guides are great short reads that will help with different strategies and techniques that are useful in the classroom. There are eight resource guides to help you out throughout the year. Next, let's look at the items in the Literacy Library box. Here you will find books for children, such as alphabet books, poetry books, wordless books, and the developmental storybook. Take a look at the developmental storybook. See how it's divided into three stages of literacy? The first is for beginners, the second is for intermediate, and the third is for advanced comprehensions and literacy skills. Children love these books. This box also contains the magnetic letters, the tabletop pocket chart, literacy CDs, and Rebus posters. These are all very useful tools to help children build their language and literacy skills. The schoolhouse stores the colorful cards and photographs that children use to practice important literacy skills. Sequence cards, vocabulary cards, photo pockets, pocket photos and pocket letters, photo activity cards, letter cards, compound word cards, alphabet word cards, nursery rhymes flip chart, and the cultural rhymes flip chart. Take a few minutes to look through these resources and explore what they have to offer and how they can enhance your classroom. The Lily Pad Theater contains all your resources for storytelling and music. There are 34 story folders in total. The pieces are magnetic and a great prop for storytelling. Storytellers on CD, Creative Storytelling Resource Guide, Interactive Software CD, Games and Patterns CD, Music CDs, Listening CDs, and Space Frog, which is used to help children learn about spaces between words. The Big Frog and Tadpole Bookstores stock an amazing variety of genres in both large and small books. The small books come in sets of two. The book selection includes personal narratives, predictable text, nonfiction, informational text, classics, fiction, poetry, and fantasy. On to the City Bank box where you will find engaging math library books, Manipulatives, which include pattern blocks, ang legs, attribute buttons, connecting cubes, frog counters, and chain links. Moving to Math CD, Building Math Skills and Concepts Resource Guide. Explore the Science Museum for great books and science resources. In this box, you will find some science-based books with colorful pictures and interesting facts. The science tools provided in the kit will help to start a science center in your room to inspire inquisitive minds. Steve Spangler offers great activities to develop the little scientist's mind and make science fun for everyone. Check out his videos on YouTube for more crazy and fun ways to introduce science into your classroom. The Frog Street Cafe box contains materials and resources that support social and emotional development. There are four Schubert books, A to Z Helping Hands book, It Starts in the Heart CD, and Pocket Cubes. And of course, don't forget to take out Fanny from her house. She is an excellent tool for learning and guiding social emotional development in your classroom. Last but not least is the kids castle boxes. There are two boxes for the castle, one containing items that support special needs and the other box contains materials that promote physical development. In the special needs box, you will find useful tools and resources that assist with providing an inclusive environment. 
the resource guide, Guidelines and Strategies for Children with Special Needs, is a highly recommended read for all staff as it helps with many issues that you will come across on a daily or weekly basis. The resource guide, Multiple Intelligences in the Early Childhood Classroom. A storybook called Tools That Help Me. Manipulatives such as eyedropper, tweezers, dot cubes, tactile balls, and stencils. In the physical development box, you will find resources for both fine and gross motor development. A resource guide for Continuum of Physical Development, Beanbags, Beach Ball, and a Parachute. Don't forget about the excellent resource guides that are available in the Frog Street program. Try to take some time to read these reference guides as they will assist you in strategies to effectively manage your classroom and make your day run smoother.